So what's up? So let's get my walk in for the day. Just wanted to touch bases with everybody. It was a beautiful day. Check in. No, uh, life is short, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, when you think about that, doesn't mean, you know, just uh, life is short. I got to do whatever to get things done. But it more so means that, you know, it's time to make the move towards the things that we really want to get done in life and things we really want to do and accomplish in life. It's not uh, about just, okay, you know, just wasting time. But, you know, you have things, you have dreams, you have things that you want to accomplish. And it starts today. It starts when we, you know, make up our mind to take that step again. And you may have taken a break from things you wanted to do and get done or dreams you want to achieve, goals you want to achieve, you know, aspirations you wanted to achieve. You may be taking a break from it because life happens and struggles and challenges occur. But you know, when you think about time, you know, and God does things you know, outside of time. So he can redeem the years. He can redeem time. He can make stuff that, you know, could take years to get done happen in a year or so, you know, or in a month. You know, things you've been waiting for, things you've been praying for, he can make happen right away. So just wanted to get in here and encourage you to step out your comfort zone and make things happen. You know, uh, I heard, uh, I think it was Ed Milet on his show talking about, um, he had a guest on, they were talking about, we have 24 hours in a day, and we know that, right? But, you know, if you think about it as, I got eight hours of work, eight hours to spend time with family, and eight hours to sleep. When you look at it in those quadrants, those eight hour, you know, those three eight hour quadrants, you will look to see that typically it's work that bleeds over into family time and downtime leisure time opposed to sleep you know so we gotta look at that man so how can we correct it recalibrate and even it out because you know i mean you know you gotta work and you gotta work hard to make it happen but what if you know we you know stay stay with the eight hours and stay on target when it comes to work, stay on target when it comes to family time and leisure and do what we got to do, you know, to be more consistent with that. You know, we got that, that, you know, we got really three <laughs> eight hour situations each day. So I thought that was profound, man. Shout out to Ed Milet. But, but yeah, man, I mean, life is what you make it. Go after it, whatever it is. You know, you you know what you want to accomplish. You know what you want to do. Make it happen. Let's do it. Not your average boss. Signing off. Peace. Listen to Not Your Average Boss podcast on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and more. Thank you for listening.